Let's face it, the agency world is cutthroat. Clients are demanding more and competition is fierce and staying afloat can feel like a constant battle. But what separates the agencies that are thriving from the ones that are just getting by in today's market? It all comes down to a specific set of skills, skills that can 10X your growth and leave your competitors in the dust. The good news, you can learn these skills yourself. There's no degree required and no expensive courses. And it gets even better. These are the same skills that we've observed within the most successful partners we have here at Mendasta, many of who are generating over $5 million in revenue. So we know what works and what doesn't. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through those skills and point you in the right direction to help you master them so that you can unleash your agency's full potential. Now, before diving in, I just want to set the scene quickly. I'll break down this list into three key areas, AI know-how, strategy, and soft skills. And I'll highlight the top three skills in each of those. Many agencies we see are great at sales and the technical stuff like building websites and automations, but unfortunately, too many of them underestimate the importance of strategic thinking and communication while maximizing their own use of AI. Those skills are crucial for helping you sell your technical expertise and advising clients on how AI and other services can boost the holistic value of their business and drive your own agency's growth. So let's start with the AI-oriented skills that can help you push the boundaries. The first one is prompt engineering. AI prompting, also known as prompt engineering, is the art of giving clear instructions to AI models like ChatGPT or Gemini so that they can understand exactly what you need them to create. Think of it like telling an artist what kind of painting you have in mind. The clearer and better your instructions, the better the outcome. So why is prompting important? Bloomberg has described prompting as the language to learn in the AI age. And big companies like JP Morgan have made prompt engineering skills mandatory for all new hires. Now, you might be watching this video and thinking, well, of course I'm great at AI. I'm an AI agency after all. But let's look at this as a fitness challenge. How fit are you really with AI? The fact is almost anyone can prompt basic instructions, but is your AI cardio as good as someone like Marcel Krosik, an entrepreneur who I recently interviewed on this channel, who's built an AI automation agency that generates 1 million in annual recurring revenue and has no staff aside from himself and his wife. Check out that interview with Marcel to learn more about his approach to leveraging AI. The second AI skill is machine learning mastery. So imagine a local clothing store drowning in a messy inventory database. A pre-built AI tool might not be able to handle their unique needs. And that's where machine learning mastery comes in. It's like giving you AI superpowers. You can tweak existing AI models or build new ones that are custom fit to crush your client's specific challenges. Now, why is it important? There's a lot of pre-built tools out there and those are great but machine learning mastery lets you go that extra mile for your clients and sets your agency apart. Think about it this way. With machine learning, you can create an AI solution that predicts demand for that clothing store based on past sales. This super smart AI helps the store keep their inventory stocked just right, boosting their profits and making you look like the hero. So how can you become better at machine learning? There's many ways. In the description, I've put a link to nine books about machine learning for beginners that you can feel free to check out and get better at this skill. The third AI skill is data management. So think of data as the fuel for your AI models. Data integration and management is all about making sure that that fuel is clean, organized, and secure. The better you manage that data, the better your AI solutions and products are going to work for your clients. So imagine a local restaurant using AI for email marketing. If the data is messy, the emails may end up going to the wrong people and promote the wrong dishes. But with strong data management skills, you ensure that the AI model has accurate information to work with. That means targeted email campaigns that drive sales and keep your clients raving about your services. So how can we become better at data management? So leveling up in data management really depends on the software you use. So whether it's your CRM or a client's email marketing system, take the time to review that system and understand how to keep and extract the data as cleanly as possible. 
Let's switch gears and go to our strategic skills. So the first strategic skill you really want to have is to be a tech stack architect. So tech stack consultation skills are akin to being sort of a general contractor in the AI and digital marketing world. It involves assessing a client's entire business challenges and designing a customized tech stack so a combination of AI tools, data sources, and other technologies to help them achieve their goals. So imagine you're dealing with a clothing store that's struggling with their marketing. This store has come up to you and self-assessed that they think it's their website that's awful and not bringing in a good number of leads. Now, if your agency only focuses on selling websites, you could sell them a relaunch, but it may not address the root cause of their online presence challenges. So that's where the analogy of a painter versus a general contractor comes in. A painter is going to know pretty much everything to do with paint, but a general contractor is going to be able to assess a local business's entire needs. They're going to know why they're not generating leads. What's the problem when it comes to SEO, their online presence, uh, automations that they may need. Okay, It puts you in a, a position of advantage where you can offer so much more to a local business. So by having tech stack consultation skills, you can put together a package of services like reputation management, social marketing, email campaigns, SEO optimization, chatbots, etc., along with that website redesign. And so your agency not only becomes more profitable, but you actually cure the underlying challenges that that local business is facing. So becoming an expert on a local business's tech stack really depends on the technology you're using. So have a look into services that can streamline this process for you and enable you to become a general contractor. These tools should empower you to analyze a business's entire online presence quickly and efficiently so you can generate a detailed health report and tell them what they need in order to improve. The second strategic skill you need is the ability to develop partnerships. No single agency or AI tool can possibly handle every aspect of a local business's needs. So building a network of strategic partners involves connecting with other specialists, whether they're content writers, designers, automation builders, etc. Think about it, and like I mentioned previously, a small business may need help with their entire online presence or their full tech stack and AI strategy. And your domain of expertise might be, for example, just in automations. You probably don't have the time or know-how around SEO, copywriting, design, etc. So you need to bring those skills in to provide those services to your customers. So how do you become good at this? To build a network, I'd highly suggest asking for referrals where possible. So for example, I ask my tech colleagues all the time for referrals or experts who can help me uh, with building automations. Another avenue is finding people on LinkedIn followed by freelance platforms like Upwork. Whatever you do, carefully vet each person, whether they're a referral or somebody who's made a pitch to you from a freelancing platform. And strategic skill number three is understanding numbers. So technical skills and soft skills and sales skills, those are all crucial for agency owners. But without understanding numbers, you risk running an unsustainable business and failing to show clients their return on investment, a question that they're going to ask you a lot about. So being good with numbers is essential for everything from setting pricing to determining your rates for VAs and contractors and understanding your business's revenue costs and margins. If you don't know those things, you're flying in the dark as far as your agency's financial performance goes. And of course, you need to be able to explain numbers as far as marketing and the value of the automations you're bringing to your clients. So how do we get better at understanding numbers? My best advice is to ask for help. Lean on experts like your accountant or business consultant and consider using software that can automate a lot of your financial performance data and client reporting for you. Finally, let's switch gears to soft skills. And the first one I want to talk about is communication and client connection. And that's all about clear and confident communication, active listening, empathy, and the ability to build strong relationships on trust. Now, this obviously matters a lot. If you can't make a good connection with a prospect or client, nothing else matters because you won't have a business. So imagine a local plumber who's hesitant about installing an AI chatbot on their website because they don't understand how artificial intelligence works. They need someone who can explain complex things in a way that's easy to understand. And that's you. 
So as a former news reporter and salesperson, I would ask my clients or my boss for feedback anytime that I had a call, a sales call or an interview go south. This is the quickest and fastest way that I improved. Now, if you're a solo agency owner and you don't have anyone who can provide this type of feedback, I'd like to invite you to join the Vendasta Facebook community. Our community members often get on sales calls together, give each other feedback and ask all sorts of questions to help each other improve their skills. The link is in the description below. Soft skill number two is sales negotiation. So sales negotiation involves effectively communicating the value of your AI services, the ability to close deals with confidence and negotiating contracts that are fair for both you and your client. So let's face it, running an agency is a business. Your amazing AI skills won't pay the bills unless you can sell them. So you need to be able to communicate the value proposition of AI and the other services you offer confidently to close deals. And negotiation skills help you ensure that you can secure a fair price that keep your agency's margins healthy and sustainable. Check out the previous episode I filmed on the perfect AI automation sales pitch for agencies where I walk you through a pitch deck I built that you can download, white label and use. The last soft skill I feel is underestimated by many agencies and that's the ability to provide and also receive constructive criticism. So constructive criticism is the art of telling someone in the most polite way possible what they're doing wrong and how they can do things better. Whether it's discussing a client's marketing strategy or working with a subcontractor to create technical content, the ability to handle and also provide constructive criticism is crucial. I have seen agencies lose business and valuable contractors in a heartbeat because they took things too personally. Now, using ChatGPT to help you provide better feedback is an awesome idea. So type in what you want to say or what comes to mind and then ask ChatGPT to frame that feedback in a more constructive or professional way. You can even ask ChatGPT to assess your feedback and provide opportunities for improvement and you can pass that feedback on to a subcontractor the next time they uh, fall short of the mark in terms of uh, a deliverable that they've made for you. And there you have it the nine skills that will set your agency apart. From AI prompting to tech stack consultation, mastering these areas will transform your client interactions and position you as a trusted advisor, not just as a service expert who waits for projects. Embrace these skills, leverage helpful tools, and watch your agency reach its full potential. I hope you found this video valuable. Please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you next time.